Hey guys, um, so I've got a new thing to show you. Um, I've done a bunch of building and I started on a new thing and what usually happens with me is that I make up the idea of what I'm going to do once I've started building. I don't, didn't really know what I was going to do in here and this originally was going to be a greenhouse area um, and ended up being something quite different. Um, uh, so let me show you what I've, what I've done. So this is just down from my main base, uh, or the kitchen and stuff that I showed you before. Um, there's there's more to show you up here, but um, I just thought I'd show you this as a quick one. Hopefully I can demonstrate how I've done this um, in a really quick way. So I had this little area on the mountainside, and wasn't really entirely sure what I was going to do with it, but um, just sort of playing around with some ideas. Uh, and... I turned it into so I had previously I had my Akatinas roaming around up the top there um, and they kept either escaping or just getting in the way um, and I wanted I have a, like a hatchery area down below me which I'll show you at another point um, and I needed some more vegetables for that so I decided that I'd sort of make this area it looks a bit like a like a wildlife area but um, it's actually got kind of two purposes. It's got uh, veggies in crop plots in there, um, and it's got my snails. They don't seem to want to wander in here. I don't know if it's because I've kind of enclosed them in this structure or because they're on top of things, but they're still making acatina paste and, um, and polymer. Um, and then I also wanted somewhere to put so I, I sort of put all this stuff in and basically all this is is just loads and loads of overlapping crop plots <laughs> you can't really see um, and then I've put loads of um, crops in there but also loads of like the stationary plants um, just because I wanted the resource and also some of the stationary plants don't actually animate they're just, so they're just a bit static um, whereas the actual crops move around and they get a bit more texture I just thought it was an interesting little place to put my my snails, little snail paradise for them to chomp away to their heart's content. Um, so I built this area and then I put this, this is the scaffold, this is some of the scaffolding pieces from the Castle Keeps um, Forges mod up there. Um, I've hidden some glass panels in it so that I get the, I still get the 300, I've turned the HUD off, but I still get the 300 um, greenhouse effect. So this all grows happily, and it's got water supply underneath it. This is actually a double floor, so you, there's a hidden area underneath. Um, so I built all this, and then I had this area over here where I wanted to put a fridge, um, mm. but it kind of didn't like. I guess this sounds like a, bit, a bit weird, but I didn't like the aesthetic of having a fridge in my garden. But I like the practical purposes of being able to pick up the organic polymer and put it straight in the fridge. So. Um, and then I started playing around with this fountain which so I've made this custom fountain which is what I'm actually going to show you how to make one of these um, so like because I don't really like the fountains that are in the game they look a bit crap or they're just too big or they don't really do what I want to do and I just kind of wanted something it's playing around as usual um, so I'll try and show you how I did that and what I've done to kind of what those pieces are and everything um, so I'll just briefly show you the rest of this area. So um, I thought I'd just put this kind of nice little outside sitting bit in it. Um, oh, there's me. You haven't seen me before. Um, so I put this table in and I put some chairs in and whatever. And then I had the shelf, the fridge back there. So I thought, how can I hide that fridge away um, and make it kind of interesting and. and uh, look nice but still allow me to have it in there and it was kind of a neat little corner because there's a kind of empty space back there um, so this is I made my own little custom kind of I don't know what that is really a divider a fence I guess um, out of various different pieces uh, again kind of weird combinations of things just to get different textures that you can't get normally but um, and then obviously I've covered it over with some ivy. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to put the ivy right across because it kills your FPS a bit. So, um, 
what this is made out of is it's a gate from uh, one of the mods from the it's one of the eco mods probably most likely um, it's one of the eco mods metal gate or something there's a copper version of it and then there's a glass uh, there's a glass wall under here um, and then these are actually the shutters from the one of the eco I think the eco's um, RP furniture mod or something um, so just to give me this so loads of those little shutters against that wall uh, you have to put that shutter against the wall so it won't just it won't freestand like that um, and yeah so gate on top I've got a ceiling hidden in there to support the gate because that obviously only stands on the floor um, but I've done it in such a way that I don't bang my head you can't even notice it really there uh, and then clipped a shelf into the into the wall and hidden the rest of the shelf on the other side and I put some candles up there it's just kind of a nice little corner um, and then yeah obviously the fountain which I'm, I'm going to try and show you how I made that I'm not sure how this is going to go um, I've sort of set up um, yeah and I've obviously I've hidden everything that kind of sticks out of the back you can't see this um, you can't see the back of the fridge and you can't see anything so yeah so my snails are happily chomping away in there so let me try and show you how I made this fountain. Uh, you can probably recognise some of the pieces. Um, but you might not recognise all of them. So let me go. I've, I've set up a little area outside because I don't really want to touch that. It took me so long to get it right. So this is to, in order to, the idea of this area is to replicate um, what we've got out there. Uh, so let's pretend. So this is this is where I came into that area. That's where the snails are, all the, um, and this is where the fridge is over here. So this is effectively replicating where the table and the chairs are. So what I did um, was, so if I take this triangle, so, so the pieces I've used, I'll just show you actually before I, before I do that. The piece I used, um, actually, let's just keep the if I just keep the HUD open. It'll probably be easier for me is this which is a planter from the um, garden furniture mod I think um, but it's way too high to use as a I mean that wouldn't be practical to use as a fountain um, so and it's also it's got this mud texture in the top of it so but I liked it so I thought well I, I only want to use it from kind of up there up so if I pick that up again what I did was then down here in the floor, this is the same as what I've got over the other side, is I have got um that's so that bit where I've just was has got a double floor anyway. Um because I've hidden some some water supply and stuff in there. Um but I've put a railing down and then I put again I've put a glass ceiling always with the glass pieces because you can hide that ugly bit on the back when I don't need it, but I've left it there just to show you. So if I place that now um, on the wall and I put the triangle back there we go we've got something that's much more usable as a fountain now I can walk up to it and it's at right height but it still looks a bit weird it's got wood it doesn't have the frog or anything so and this bit at the back having this little bit overhanging it's overhanging because the ceiling that I placed is longer than the length of the triangle so it sticks out the back of the wall but that's exactly what I want and I'll show you why so this takes some finagling and some uh, fiddling around. So I could just go, I mean, you might just want to do this. Like I actually played with this idea for quite a while. Quite like the idea that his like hands sit on the, um, sit on the actual, the plinth. Um, and then all you've just got to do is put a, uh, like clip a pillar, uh, clip a pipe up to him. That takes a bit of fiddling around and get a water, water supply I don't know if you actually noticed but you cannot you could I'll show you again but you can drink from that water fountain in there um, so you might just want to do that I didn't really want the wood around it um, so I'm going to show you how I got rid of that wood and I use this technique in quite a lot of things that I do um, I think I actually used it maybe on the glass yeah, maybe I used it up there in the in the kitchen at some point. I can't remember. Probably. So what I needed to do is I need some way of 
getting him with only the texture of his you know, the actual uh, frog. I don't want the wooden plinth around it because I didn't feel like it fit with what I was trying to do. Um, and it would it, to, to everybody that looked at it, it would be immediately recognisable as the trophy, one of those trophy mount things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the walls away for a second and I need to get so I could just do so because I've got this snap point back here now I could just do this uh, kind of something like that oh I did that guy oh I didn't clip oh let's give me a second so let's just put another ceiling up, uh, another wall up there so I could just do something like this put him there um, I've still obviously got the two clip points that are actually on the ceilings here so we end up with this little double wall thing but you just end up with his mouth and it's not enough so I need to bring that back wall forwards closer so it's more close to this but not at the same point as this I hope that makes sense but so let me show you what I did so um, and this is as I said I do this quite a lot to get um, finer snap points than what Arc originally is going to give you. So one option is obviously probably everybody knows that that and that are slightly different but that again didn't give me enough. It doesn't bring enough of him out um, for me to use so what I did was I'm just going to take that triangle back out again for a second. So I put a wall back up like that after the to the lag. Um, I put a ceiling on it I then put another ceiling on that and then at this point I have obviously the snap point from the snap points from this ceiling looking out that way and I have the snap points from this ceiling looking out that way and you can tell that from the arrows obviously so that one is snapping on the wall on the left because it's got the arrow facing to the right it's snapping on the outside edge of the wall on the left so that's going to be further away than that one, which is the inside edge. Uh, sorry, is the outside edge of the ceiling on the right. So that, if I just use that one, it would basically bring me back to exactly the same point. But it is a very slight difference between that and that. You can just about see this, the, the wall shifts. See, it just moves very slightly. But is that if that's not enough for me then I can still use I can now use the inner edge of the left hand ceiling and I can put that down so I don't need this anymore because we have the foundation support switched off and you'll see when I bring the ceiling back across and I now drop the this gets a bit fiddly because you've got a lot of snap points going on now um, but you can tell by the arrows that snapped to the ceiling because it's pointing in the same way as like that and if you look oh no it didn't actually want to snap to that so sometimes the easiest way to do this is just to snap an extra one and then that so I can see that that is now snapped in if I remove the HUD you can see that I have again shifted that wall very slightly to closer to my plinth uh, and we're basically that we're in business there so I don't need anything more I know from um, what I did before, but that is close enough. I don't need any of these anymore. Switch the hub back on. Get rid of that puppy. Um, this guy is going to be. This wall is now. I mean, it wouldn't be in most cases because you wouldn't necessarily have this open, but for me, I replaced this with glass. And I need to get that in the right place, but I replaced it with glass in order to make sure that I wasn't showing that double wall on the outside of my of my build um, but you don't need to worry about it so let's say we don't need to worry about it um, so I'm going to pick that back up I can pick that one back up now um, and I don't actually need that glass ceiling down there anymore but I'm just going to leave it there for now or maybe I won't let's see what happens if I can get this on the next attempt yeah okay so you can see how now I've got I mean, you can tell it's a different snap point because it's lower, um, and that's based on the fact that that is all the height is all being dictated from that. 
that lower ceiling. Um, so what I can now do is I could now put Mr. Froggy back in there. If I put Mr. Froggy back in there now, um, we can see that I'm getting to the right position here. Okay, so that's what I was looking to achieve. I wanted his face, I didn't want the wood, and I've done it perfectly, hidden away. Um, always. Um, so, I've, yeah, I mean, that, there's, a, there's a couple of little snaps wrong there because the walls aren't lined up, but you get the point. Um, so what then I wanted to do was, so I looked at all of this and I thought, well, that that wood, that um, brown dirt texture doesn't, doesn't really fit for me in terms of a fountain it just looks like it's a planter still so what can I do to make it different so I'm going to take this back a second and I'm going to take the froggy back off the wall a sec I'm going to take this other wall back up just for ease um, and what I actually decided that my final and oh, we can fill this hole back in now what I decided my final design was going to be was going to be that plinth plus a small wooden a small stone planter on top but again we've still got the the dirt um, and then I've randomly but this does the job uh, a plate from Eco's uh, kitchen mod and with a bit of fiddling you can get it so it sits perfectly in there I and mean, then you can fiddle around with that and get that um, blue bit hidden but there we go. So that looks more to me already interesting and more like a uh, more like a fountain, more like something that I could actually be happy with. So I just tied him away. Um, there's a lot of snap points going on there, so you can probably see that I'm switching between them. Um, and then the the really what the only other fiddly part. Uh, if we go back to the original, was oh, was getting the actual water from the pipes. If you look in his mouth, you can see. For some reason, I noticed as well that when you turn away from them, the water sort of spurts in a different way. Um, so the only other fiddly part that I had was getting the. Oh, I don't burn myself on these candles. Interesting. Um, was getting the fountain or the actual tap part sorry to be in the right place so that took some fiddling I just mm. but I probably don't really need to show you guys that you just snap a pipe um, and then and so I wanted it and so that took me a while to get the the height of where I wanted the frog so actually I didn't end up with the frog touching down on the plinth because it just ended up being uh, I just thought it looked better like that so yeah I can drink from that uh, drink water and uh, so yeah that's how I did that I think it looks quite cool hope you like it um, if you've got any questions about any of that stuff then um, give me a comment alright thanks guys hope, hope you have a good day